Hey, hey, what's up, everybody? Good morning. It is Thursday. That week is flying by, getting a lot done. I hope you are doing the same thing. It's uh, it's still beautiful outside. Looks like another few weeks. Start getting crisp. Leaves will start changing. Man, I know a lot of people love this time of year. Uh, I know I do as well. Uh, so yesterday I had uh, a kiddo. Uh, I, I was missing some work from him. And good, good kid. And, and I'm like, hey, uh, where, where's, your, where's your work? Uh, left it here. Blamed it on little brother. Blah, 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 blah. You could tell he was kind of beat up. Uh, disappointed in himself. And, you know, really uh, wasn't a pleasurable experience for him. Well, when when you're trying to help kids have the best school year ever and they're sitting there and they, they did something that, that didn't go as they had hoped and they're supposed to turn something in and uh, they're feeling defeated and beat up, um, that's not helping that kiddo having the best school year ever. So, uh, you know, what I told him, I said, hey, I'm like, it, it's okay that you forgot something. I'm like, I forget stuff all the time. I said, I asked him, I said, hey, when do you think you can get it to me? Oh, I'll have it. I'm such, I'll have it here tomorrow. Okay. I'm like, is that all right? Well, yeah. I said, you know what, bud? I said, I make mistakes all day long. I said, I probably made three mistakes before you ever got up this morning. I'm like, that's just what I do. I make mistakes. You know why? Because I'm human. And, you know, to, I, I wanted him to understand that it's okay. To, to, to fail and you know in, in our classroom the the uh, motto is our path to greatness is is paved with failure questions and kindness and I, I brought that up I said I said man did you did you really fail did you really mess up or is it something where you could learn from you know and he said well my my brother was throwing a fit and uh, I just you know my mom started you know whatever and uh, I just I forgot to put it back in my bag and I said, trust me, I get it. <laughs> I said, as a parent, that kind of fussy stuff happens on my side of the seat. And then I forget stuff. I said, so trust me, I get it. I said, but now that you know that that's a time where you might forget something or something might cause you to not have what you need. I said, well, what if we plan for, for that now? What, what if the next time things are going south and you and brother are fussing at each other or whatever, mom starts barking at you guys because that's what moms are supposed to do? Maybe you're like, hold on, hold on. Let, 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 let me let me make sure I got what I got here. Do I, do, I have my, do I have my folders? Is my book bag here? You know, do I have all the other things that I need? So that the next time that it happens, no big deal. You know, you got what you need. Life's good. You know, you go to school, you, you, you still feel confident. Uh, you're not disappointing yourself. You're not disappointing me, at least so, so you think. And we're good. I said, because because if you do that, it's not, it's not doing something wrong. It's just a learning experience. And that kiddo went from kind of just, you know, hunched over, kind of whooped, to sitting up a little taller. And, and I asked him, I said, do you think next time you could kind of remember how you feel right now how you felt when, you know, things things were, you know, you were in the car and you could go, hey, I, I don't want to feel like that again. I want to make sure I got my stuff. I want to make sure I put it back in my book bag. I want to make sure I got all my things. And then when you get to school and you pull it out, you'd be like, hey, I did learn from that experience. I am better because of it. Because one thing is, as parents, I know I, I'm, I'm not nearly good enough is to help my kids flip a failure into a uh, positive learning experience. I do it wonderfully in the classroom. As a dad, I'm not great at it. So one thing I've been trying to do better is to help my kids when things go south, turn it into a success, into a learning experience. I do it at times, but not nearly as much as I need to, not nearly as much as I do it when I'm at school. So uh, I'm gonna vie to be better at that. And I'll tell you what, if, if you as mom and dad can help do that, or, or my older kids, uh, high school kids, my college kids, hey, 
take those failures and, and turn them, flip the switch. Because trust me, I I mean, granted, there's there's some life altering failures that we can do. I, I get it. I mean, there's some really bad things that we can do in life. But for the most part, most of our our mistakes, our failures, our things that didn't go as they were probably supposed to. You know what? It, it, in the grand scheme of things, it, it ain't that big a deal. Uh, you know, you might be disappointed or it might make things uncomfortable for a minute or, or whatever. But in the grand scheme, is it really that big of a deal? Probably not. Uh, so, so take it and learn from it. Take it and uh, apply it so that the next time it happens, you learn from it, you're successful because of it, and had that failure not happened, maybe you never got good at whatever that failure is. Um, and then go out and enjoy it and, and go, hey, ha ha, I failed, ha ha, high five, I failed, and, and embrace those failures. Um, one thing I've been trying to do better is ask my own kids, hey, what'd you fail at today? Um, I want them to be in a situation where they feel like failure is the best way to go for them. I want them to try so many new things that they embrace failure, that it, it feels good, it feels comfortable to fail. Um, and, and that way they go through life experiencing new things that, that they may never have tried before. So, hey friends, it's time for me to go in and get ready to crush my day. Uh, I hope you are having a wonderful week. Uh, I hope one message sometime this week helped you. Uh, if it did, do me a favor, hit the like button. It definitely helps get this message out to other people. And maybe that message isn't you. Maybe you're, you're a rock star at failure. Uh, and, and if that's the case, you are awesome. And maybe I should be listening to you. Uh, but you know what? If we can help all of our kids embrace failure and, and turn them into learning experiences, their life's going to be more enriched. They're going to be more confident. They're going to be happier people. And uh, that's what we want out of, you know, for, for all of our kids. So do me a favor, hit the like button, uh, leave a comment, something that, that, that helps the, the, the Facebook algorithms get into more people's pages. Because if, if, if it helps just one more kid because you hit like, I appreciate it. So guys, have a wonderful, wonderful end of your week. It's Thursday. I'll be back in here in the morning and uh, we'll talk to you guys then. Have a great day. Make it special for somebody in your circle. They need you. Take care, guys. Love you.